Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video from uh, Wrestling Olympic World. Um, just doing a quick video of one of my belts that I've got for sale. Uh, and it's the WWF Smoking Skull signed belt. Um, I actually bought this second hand, obviously, at, um, which, is the, which was a deluxe belt. So, And it was already pre-signed. I've got them all authenticated, so they are all real. So I do know that the signatures are 100% real. Um, <coughs> sorry. So this belt is actually really quite old, and it's it's actually in really good condition considering like the age of it, because uh, it's pre WWE era. Uh, it's all got the WWF logos on every single uh, plate, and I believe on the back as well. I don't think it's got a sticker actually. No, it hasn't. Um, but here we go. So obviously we're going to from one plate to the next, just so you can see the quality of it. Uh, this belt's actually signed by The Undertaker just down here. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin is just here. The Rock and Kane. Um, obviously myself, I would have got the, I would've got the um, strap signed. Uh, but obviously this person that got it done, and got it on the plates. But it's still, to be honest, it, look, it still looks okay. It still looks good. Um, for, 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 for a fan, it's really, really good. So. Um, so there you go, guys. So obviously... And there's the snap box. Now, obviously, onto the other side. This is an adult size. Uh, like I said, it's the deluxe belt. So the leather's actually really. It's quite flimsy in a way. And it's obviously, it's, like I said, because it's quite old, um, it's quite worn in. So, so obviously, you can just really bend it quite well. But there's this the back. Obviously, if you saw my last video uh, with. Uh, what was it? I can't remember. The, the Raw Tag Team belt. No, not the Raw Tag. The uh, United States belt that I've got for sale. I've actually got some of the these belts actually strapped already made. Um, <clears throat> so if I just keep it, because I've actually already made this one. Well, I pre-cut it, I should say. Where my, basically my friend was working on um, some leather, and uh, as a project, because he had a bit of spare time on his hand, he he, just, he, uh, he offered to uh, make me some. If I if I buy the leather, he would make me some. Um, just uh, just as to practice with, really. It was never intending to to do it to make make them to sell at all. Um, obviously, it was down to my. It, he said that he'll cut it out. It's not a problem. And then um, show me how to do a little bit or of the work. Now the the lever itself, obviously, it is four millimeters thick, uh, so it's really really nice size for for the lever. Um, it's ideal for the plates because when when the belts are on there, when the plates are on there, it literally just flops down just like that and it's uh, really nice to see a belt on real leather strapped I've got really got to say I absolutely love it um, if I was going to keep the belts then that's what I would would have done was obviously kept them on a real leather strap um, but this is obviously homemade it's, it's not a professional it's only his first kind of attempt he's, I think I've got about eight belts sort of pre-made just waiting to obviously for the stamps to go on um, the snap boxes at either end, the die, and the lever to go on the back. Um, <coughs> but obviously, with Sally Oscar, because the work's picked up a bit, he's he hasn't really got time to do them, so or help help me. Uh, but I do have the tools to do. But like I said, I, because I'm selling this belt, I'm probably going to sell the straps. Uh, but like I said, if you do want the, the belt, then that's great. But obviously, if you do want the lever strap as well. And obviously you want to try and finish it off. Um, then obviously these straps will be uh, more money on the belt. Because I want to try and get my money back for the leather that I've paid for for these. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then obviously it's just down to you to finish it off. Which isn't much more. Um, I was always intending to get... I'm going to... Eventually, obviously if I do... Uh, buy these belts back, and obviously if I don't sell the leather, then I'm, I'll happily keep them, because in the day is, I'll, you know, then I know that I have the real leather pretty much already made uh, for when I do buy the belt again eventually. The only reason I'm selling them is because I'm, I'm using the money to pay for my WrestleMania trip for next year, so I cannot wait. And sadly, because I've got nowhere to put these belts at the moment, I'm gonna have to let them go. But anyway, so there you go, guys. So there's my signed smoking skull belt. I kind of started to rabble on just then. Um, I'm happy to sell these worldwide. 
Now, bear in mind, I do live in the UK, so if you do live, if you do want this belt and it's going to America, Asia, Europe, anywhere else but UK mainland, then shipping will be a bit higher than UK. Now, if you, if you are making an offer on these belts, then it doesn't include the shipping, um, or the, obviously the real leather if you want the real leather. But obviously, that's you know, you can either sort out your own courier and get them picked up from a house. That's not a problem. Which you know, if you can if you can find a cheaper way of one that's doing it, then that's up to you. Or I can I can have a look around. I'll probably just use a monkey parcel monkey. Obviously, they they seem to be the cheapest, and all they do is collect them from a house and then ship out to you, which is which is you. I think it's about next day delivery anyway. So, but anyway, guys, if you've got any messages, just message me on Facebook, eBay, Twitter. Or even on YouTube, you know. Um, so there you go, guys. There's my smoking skull.